guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a top five and under five of all my favorite items from the brand Mary Kay. In a recent video re review I did of the Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation, a lot of people in the comment section were pointing out what an underrated brand this is on YouTube, and they are absolutely right. There are t I've tried a ton of products from Mary Kay within the last year or two maybe even and they this is not your mom's Mary Kay. I remember going to Mary Kay parties as a kid and the products to me now are so different and I love a lot of them. Five that I'm going to tell you about in this video. So if you want to see which five I'm loving, please continue watching. First up, I won't talk too much about this seeing as how I just did a review on it, but it's the matte, uh, matte wear liquid foundation, the Time Wise line. I'm in the shade Ivory 7. Essentially, it's a full coverage matte foundation that doesn't dry your skin out, cake up on your skin. It's for combination to oily skin. I have combination and it works beautifully and lasts impeccably all day. You can see before and after pictures in that review because it's just astonishing what this can do without primer or powder. So go check that out and let's move on to the next product. Next product is the Cream Eye Color. Mine is in the shade Apricot Twist and I've had this for about eight months. It is just as smooth, creamy, hydrated as it was the day I first opened it. This, and this is the only one I've tried from the Cream Shadow line, but it's apply smoothly, opaquely, it can be built, and worn without a primer, it doesn't budge, crease, smudge, anything all day long. I'm very impressed with the quality, and Apricot Twist in particular is very similar to MAC Rubenesque to me. It's a little less pink, but the, the goldy, the soft gold, almost pinky leaning hue of it has kept me from buying Ruben S because I'm so in love with this shade. Now onto powder products. I keep mine in a Z palette, but they actually come in little individual packs like this, and I'm sure Mary Kay makes palettes you can place them in. However, they're also very strongly magnetized and adhere really nicely to the inside of a Z palette. And I have two products that I'm going to rave about in here, the first of which are the eyeshadows, just the straight up single eyeshadows from Mary Kay. They do beautifully, and I have had a chance to try both matte and satin, some have glitter, basic eyeshadow colors, bright eyeshadow colors, there's this lime green right here, and I, uh, it's safe to say I am super impressed with all of them. That is item number three I think we were on, and then next, moving up towards the top, are the blushes. The blushes are also very smooth, creamy, pigmented, I mean, and, and the shades are relatively unique. And there are also some shimmery shades, there's some matte shades, they also have some interesting shimmery or satin uh, dual highlight and contour, I mean, so let me take this out right here. This is both a highlight and a contour. They have split the pan right down the middle and very convenient for traveling and, like I said, popping into your Z palette. So I kind of combine both of these products into one, but just make sure they are two distinct products. Both the eyeshadows and the blushes are stellar from Mary Kay. So as I'm editing this, I find that my footage for the Lash Love Lengthening Mascara is nowhere to be found, so I'm gonna do a quick little voiceover. This mascara is very much like CoverGirl's Clump Crusher times 10 for what it does to your lashes. The wand is the same with that little scoop at the bottom. The bristles are rubberized and relatively short, but they're a little bit longer than clump, the Clump Crusher wand, and they just do fantastic things for building up length and really keeping lashes clump free. And those are my top five things from Mary Kay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I'd love to hear what you are loving from such a relatively uh, little talked about brand here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!